today we're going to be taking a look at the binary game from Cisco. I've got the link for you here on screen as well as in the description below. Once you've clicked the link, you'll be brought to this page which gives a little overview of the game and why Cisco is providing it. Let's go ahead and play the game. You'll notice we have the option to play the game or go to the instructions. Let's cover those real quick. Welcome to the binary game. Use your binary math skills to quickly solve as many puzzles as you can. Puzzles come in two flavors, binary puzzles and decimal puzzles, and then they cover more study materials. For now, we're going to look at the two types of puzzles. Right here, we have a binary puzzle. To solve binary puzzles, toggle the bits on the left to equal the number on the right. So we would need to turn on the number of bits appropriate to equal four. In decimal puzzles, we actually do it in reverse. So here, you solve decimal puzzles by clicking on the question mark and using the number pad to input the decimal number that equals the binary number on the left. Additionally, instead of using your keypad, when you click the question mark, a virtual keypad will come up on the screen and you can fill out the information that way. It may be faster for some people, uh, so you can use whichever method you prefer. We'll go back to the main menu and go ahead and take a few rounds of the game. Before we start, I just want to pause it here and point out a few things that are a little bit grayed out because we've paused it, but if we let the game go on, we'll start stacking up lines and fall behind. It makes the game a little bit harder to explain. So you'll notice here a little grayed out. We have the score, the level we're on, and the lines we need to clear left. Down below we have a few game options. You can pause at any time, and you can keep the sound on or off. Additionally, if you would like to exit the game, you're more than welcome to do so here. We're going to go ahead and leave the sound on for this game so you can hear when I enter inputs. So let's go ahead and resume, and you'll notice we start with three lines, and we need to start answering questions right away. We do have this handy ruler down here that gives us the binary equivalent. So for 35, we're going to come over here to 32, turn that on, and then we need to get from 32 to 35, so we're going to need to add 3, which means we need to turn on 2 and 1. Here we go. For 8, it's a little easier. We just have to look at, we have 16 on. Let's go ahead and turn that off and turn 8 on. There we are. Same with 64. Turn off 8, turn on 64. For 130, you'll notice that all these bits are on, but we don't need all that assistance yet. We can go ahead and click 128 and just add the 2. Here we have 64. We'll go ahead and click that question mark and punch in 64. Click OK. Down here, we know that 32, with the helpful guide of our ruler here, is right here. Go ahead and turn that on. Additionally, with 1, you can turn off 128 and click 1. You do get a score bonus every time you clear the board, so try to do that as often as you can. Now we want 254. That means we need all bits but the one bit on, so let's go ahead and do that. For 16, it's even simpler. Turn off 128, turn on 16. For 255, we just need to turn all those bits on. There we go. For one, go ahead and click one. Clear the board again. Now here's another decimal problem. We have 32 plus four, 36 is 37. So let's go ahead and put in 37. Okay. For two, go ahead and turn on the two bit. For 16, we'll turn on the 16. And for 255, we'll turn all the bits on again. Now you notice we completed level one. Let's go ahead and head to level two, where I'll finish up my explanation of the game. We'll pause it once again. You'll notice we have advanced to level two and more lines need to be completed. From here, the game will start moving a little faster. Lines will start adding up much quicker. And once you get to level four or five, the ruler here will disappear. It will still indicate which bits they are, but it will not give you a number. So it will not tell you 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, or 128. You'll have to have that memorized. And to me, that was the most helpful part of this game, was playing those higher levels, practicing them, and memorizing which bits were which. 
so that that helped me. I hope that helped you as well. I found this to be quite an interesting game when I was first learning binary, and to be honest with you, every now and then I'll go back and play it when I'm helping tutor students or working on a project that uses binary. All right, everybody, that's it for today. I hope this helped you out, and you have a good one. Take care.